What is up guys, Johnny here back with a brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. Today, we take a quick look at the heartbeat sensor because it's in the game now. It's released yesterday. It was removed and now it's back. So how to get it and also what it does. Is it any good? You guys think it's gonna be meta? So heartbeat sensor is a tactical, tactical equipment. So on your loadouts, you have the frag grenades and then you have the tactical grenades. So it's here on that slot. So if you're gonna use the heartbeat sensor, you will not have access to the EMP or the trophy system or the cryo bomb. Like these last three, they're pretty popular. I've seen a lot of gas uh, grenades lately. But yeah, trophy system and all that, you have to make a decision. So heartbeat sensor, compared to the other stuff, the other stuff you, you throw once and then that's it. But the heartbeat sensor, you have it for the whole game. And what it does, it's a tablet. You're going to have to hold it in your hand. So you cannot shoot at the same time but what it does is gonna display they say displays a rough information about nearby enemies so it's like a mini uav it's gonna do waves and then another wave and it's gonna put dots and you're gonna see uh, we're gonna check it out in the game how to get it it's in the seasonal events right now and i didn't see the first time i checked the events this is called under pressure and you see the top reward is the na45 so if you don't check, you're gonna you're not gonna see that the heartbeat sensor is in there. So the first challenge is use UAV three times, pretty easy. Throw ten tactical grenades. You can use tactician perk, so you can throw two or you spawn with two uh, tactical grenades. It's gonna be faster. Uh, and then use dead silence. It's a blue perk. Kill ten enemies. Then use the trophy system five times. I think it was bugged yesterday. Some guys didn't get it to count. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's fixed now and there you have the uh, heartbeat sensor uh, win three games with high alert perk equip so equip high alert and play free for all because you just need to finish in the top three you don't need to actually win so that's pretty fast and then you have the heartbeat sensor so let's check it out in the game real quick so I can show you what it does all right so let's just jump into a pub I want to show you like the good and the bad about the heartbeat sensor but the first thing I wanted to say is inside. you have it for the whole game. If you use it, you don't lose it until you die. Usually the tactical grenades, like the gas or the trophy system, you use it once and then it's gone until you die and you respawn. But the heartbeat sensor, you can use it. There is no place for failure in my and then and then shoot or something or do something else. And then and then you still have it. Uh, the one thing I wanted to say that I don't really Hostiles like is you cannot sprint with it So like, let's say you can run without it, but as soon as you equip it you start walking So it's a bit slow depending on what game modes you're gonna use it or what you're gonna do with it All right, there's a guy there. But oh, uh, yeah, what I wanted to say also is uh, When you have it you can just click shoot or ADS and it's gonna go out of it see so it, let's say i'm running with it and i see someone like i saw a dot there uh, you can just shoot you can just shoot and it's gonna start shooting uh another thing i like is uh if you don't see the guys on your on your radar you can still see your screen like it's not taking a lot of space and you can still see the surroundings see i saw the guy uh, and what I what I read on Reddit is uh, people using Ghost, they will not appear on your heartbeat sensor. Uh, I didn't have time to Heads test up. it with friends, but apparently Ghost Advised. users will Hostile not appear. But that's the heartbeat sensor. That's how it works. Uh, very easy to use. Uh, but then again, you're going to have to decide, is it better than trophy system? or gas grenade or EMP depending what you want to do depending on the game modes also because you have 10 loadouts now right so you can do uh, a loadout for search defense a loadout for search offense uh, and even different loadouts for different maps so let's say you can or you only want to use that on search and destroy defense and only on on specific maps well that's why we have 10 loadouts we like 10 loadouts is way way more than I need in my opinion uh, even when we had five loadouts, I was all good and people really wanted 10 loadouts. So we have 10 loadouts now. So that's the way to use the 10 loadouts, specific stuff for specific game modes. 
so that's it for today's video guys i don't know how you like the heartbeat sensor let me know in the comments do you think it's gonna be meta do you think it's gonna be super uh used in competitive uh environment i don't know i don't know yet because it always takes a couple weeks to see if people use the stuff or how good it really is now you have a whole month to unlock that 31 days if you watch this video in the future and the under pressure is gone uh, just wait for it to come back in the credit store. Usually that's what they do a month or two after they just release in the credit store and you can buy it there. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.